Injil Arabic, Angel translate. Injil, alternative spellings, Ingil or Injil is the Arabic name for the Gospel of Jesus Isa. This Injil is described by the Qur, and as one of the four Islamic holy books which was revealed by God, the others being the Zabur possibly the Psalms, the Tarat the Torah, and the Qur, and itself. The word Injil is also used in the Quran, the Hadith and early Muslim documents to refer to both a book and revelations made by God to Jesus. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Arabic word Injil angel is found in Islamic texts, and now used also by Muslim non-Arabs and Arab non-Muslims, is derived from the Syriac Aramaic word awangaliyun wingleen found in the Peshitta Syriac translation of the Bible, which in turn derives from the Greek word oyangelion euangelion of the originally Greek-language New Testament, where it means, "...good news", from Greek, euangelion, Old English, "...godspell", Modern English, "...gospel", or Evangel, as an archaism, cf. e.g. Spanish, Evangelio. The word Injil occurs twelve times in the Quran. Topic: <laughs> Quranic exegetical disagreement. Topic: Muslim scholars have resisted identifying the Injil with the New Testament Gospels. Some have suggested the Injil may be the Gospel of Barnabas or Gospel of Thomas. More commonly, Muslim scholars have argued that the Injil refers to a text now lost or hopelessly corrupted. For example, Abdullah Yusuf Ali, whose translation of the Quran is among the most well known in English, wrote The Injil Greek, evangel equals gospel, spoken of by the Quran is not the New Testament. It is not the four Gospels now received as canonical. It is the single gospel which, Islam teaches, was revealed to Jesus, and which he taught. Fragments of it survive in the received canonical gospels and in some others, of which traces survive e.g., the gospel of childhood or the nativity, the gospel of Saint Barnabas, etc. The following verse is often interpreted as implying that the Injil is preserved, but instead many Muslim scholars interpret it as Allah warning the Christians to not enforce the law contrary to the law sent by Allah. And we caused Jesus, son of Mary, to follow in their footsteps, confirming that which was revealed before him in the Torah, and we bestowed on him the gospel angel, wherein is guidance and a light, confirming that which was revealed before it in the Torah a guidance and an admonition unto those who ward off evil. Let the people of the gospel angel judge by that which Allah hath revealed therein. Scholars such as Gabriel said Reynolds have maintained Injil refers specifically to the Gospel of the New Testament in the possession of the Christians being addressed in such passages, which is none other than the Gospels of the Bible as known today and in copies that predate the lifetime of Muhammad. In popular belief Regardless of scholarly disagreement, Muslims commonly believe that Injil refers to a true gospel, bestowed upon Jesus by God. Many Muslims believe that the Injil was revealed by God to Jesus in a manner comparable to the way the Quran was revealed to Muhammad, as presumed from passages in the Quran stating the gospel was a received message, such as Tr. Pikthal. Then we caused our messengers to follow in their footsteps, and we caused Jesus, son of Mary, to follow, and gave him the gospel, and placed compassion and mercy in the hearts of those who followed him. Muslims reject that Jesus or any other person wrote the Injil, instead crediting its authorship to God. Many Muslim scholars continue to believe that the biblical gospel has undergone alteration, that the words and the meaning of the words have been distorted, with some passages suppressed and others added. A key Islamic principle of oneness tawhid, and wholeness of God's divinity means that in their view it is impossible for Jesus to be God incarnate or the Son of God, and claims to the contrary within the biblical Gospels must be due to later additions. Nevertheless, the Bible has been used by Muslims as an historical source. Allah says in the Quran interpretation of the meaning, O Muslims, do you still fancy that they will believe you, although a group of them used to hear the word of Allah, and then, having understood it, used to distort it knowingly? So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands, then say, This is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written and woe to them for what they earn. They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the third of three, and there is no God except one God. 
and if they do not desist from what they are saying, there will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Muhammad stated, The people of the book used to read the Torah in Hebrew and then explain it in Arabic to the Muslims. Allah's Messenger said to the Muslims, Do not believe the people of the book, nor disbelieve them, but say, We believe in Allah and whatever is revealed to us, and whatever is revealed to you. Topic. See also Topic. Biblical and Quranic narratives Christianity and Islam Islamic view of the Christian Bible List of Christian terms in Arabic Scrolls of Abraham Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. A discussion of the Injil and some other scriptures.